So my name is Emily Gagner, and um, I have been learning to package in OpenSUSE for the last couple of months now. Um, and this is my short lightning talk. I've been using Linux for the last, I'm not even sure how many years, 20 plus years. And um, I started using OpenSUSE for the first time really about one and a half odd years ago now. And uh, I started packaging, like I said, about three, four months ago. It's, it's been a journey. I, I moved to OpenSUSE from Ubuntu, which I had been using for, I'm not sure how long, uh, probably for the most part for the last 10 to 15 years. Um, I'd used other things in that time period. I was a regular distro hopper for the most part. And previous to that, I had used more or less everything. I, I think I started with Slackware and Red Hat and Mandrake and all sorts of things in the mid to late 90s sometime. Um, so, but uh, it's, it's been a journey to learn how to package. And um, it's, been, it's been interesting. Um, I actually learned OBS initially in the bar. How many of you have heard of the bar? <laughs> there we go. So the bar has been instrumental. Um, it's, I think it started as a joke for uh, Herchan and Neil, but it's actually someplace that a lot of stuff gets done and gets fixed on a regular basis. Um, and I learned OBS in the bar, I'm not sure when exactly? I think File Roller has a date of February 24th on it. So I think that's when I first learned to package. But I think there's actually, I, I sort of think that was the second one, but I'm not sure. Um, but in any case, it was very late one night um, after I had, had, uh, had told Bjorn Lee that, uh, I was running the GNOME Next uh, repo, which he was immediately shocked by that apparently that's not something that most people do. Um, but I had been doing it at that point for a good month or two. And so he's like, well, if you're doing that, you should really be working on it and helping out with it. And I was like, well, how do I do that? And so he and Neil, late one night, at I don't even know what time. It was probably 9 or 10 o'clock at night. He and Neil had me screen share and walked me through learning to package. And that time, I neglected to take any notes. So I thought that was fairly, fairly simple and something that I could probably accomplish and continue to do. But like I said, I failed to take any notes and definitely didn't remember the steps or what I had done. But a week or two later, we did it again, and that time I actually remembered to take notes, which I was pretty proud of myself for, um, <laughs> and, and made myself a, a uh, oops. Oh, shoot. Stupid thing. No. Where were we? Made myself a nice cheat sheet. There we go. There it is. And have used that as my reference point ever since. Um, I use, I, I use, uh, what is this? This is, I can't think of the app's name right now. I'm sorry. But I, I use this cheat sheet in any case on a regular basis for reference sake and have used it consistently as my reference point of what it is that I'm doing to remember things. Um, and it has been a great help. Um, a few weeks later, 
or a, a week or so later, I continued to try to build other things. Um, I think the next thing that I decided that I wanted to update was drawing, um, which is a GNOME app that at that point I think was on 0 0.8, which I think was six months or maybe a year old. And so I went through the effort of trying to figure out how to update that. And Honoralp spent some time with me helping me to figure out how to get it to build. I believe we had to patch it. And that took a good week or two of time of going back and forth with him in the bar and helping me, sharing my screen, getting things to build right, um, and keeping things updated. And it's been, it's been a lot of time. Um, over the last, since then, over the last three or four months, these are the packages that I have attempted to update for GNOME, primarily. Um, not all of them I have succeeded with, to say the least, but many of them I have. Um, so it's, it's been interesting. Like I say, I, there's been a lot of pings of Honoral and Neil and Mal in the bar of why won't this work? What am I doing wrong in this spec file? And what is wrong? Um, the, the bar, though, has been instrumental in helping me out and pinging people, being able to share my screen with them and say, what is wrong? Um, the, the one thing that has also been helpful is at some point I found the SUSE Beginner's Guide to OBS, which is absolutely hidden away online somewhere, and I couldn't begin to tell you how I found it, but it's actually really good documentation, and I think I have shared it with one or two other people, but it's actually really helpful and has been super helpful along the way of what it is to do. So that is, that is about my presentation. And if you haven't ever been in the bar, I encourage you to join it. There's a lot of us in there hanging out at pretty much all hours of the day and getting stuff done. <laughs>